I'm thinking about switching to decaf. Yeah. Oh, well, welcome. My name is Scott, and if you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Static Camper Van, where I show just bits of my life as I live out of a minivan as a nomad. Mostly, this channel is about me just getting my next cup of coffee. And yes, I'm actually serious about switching to decaf, although this is not a cup of decaf. This is a cup of just regular old coffee that is uh, really quite good. Uh, let me get my lid on my travel mug here and we will take off, uh, go searching for some decaf coffee. Is that redundant? I could just say decaf and probably everybody would know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, but anyway, let's get going. And uh, I have been procrastinating leaving uh, because it's supposed to be rainy all day today, but I don't think it's rainy at the moment. In fact, I think we've got some sun going on outside. Yeah, we got a little bit of sun out, but lots of clouds. I do think we're supposed to see some more rain today, but uh, at least for now, I can leave the rain jacket hanging up. Uh, I had to wear that all day yesterday because it did rain all day yesterday. So, got a little bit of sun here to start the day, which makes me happy. So today we are in the city of Eureka in Humboldt County. Uh, that's Northern California. Uh, this is a really good coffee town uh, and coffee county. Lots of great coffee places around here. Uh, and. I am serious about getting some decaf coffee, although I'm not serious about switching to it permanently, but I do want to get some decaf coffee for some reasons. We'll get into that later, but uh, I have a place in mind because when you're talking about decaf coffee, you definitely want to get the best of the best. And I think the best roaster here in this county is a small company called Fogline. Uh, they're a new company and they're just in the next city over of Arcata. So we'll go over there and see if they have some decaf on offer and see if it's a coffee that I will like. Because when it comes to coffee, I'm pretty picky. This was a nice neighborhood I parked in last night, but it was busy. Uh, people were coming and going all night last night. So I didn't sleep all that well. I kept getting woken up. Uh, lots of loud cars. Uh, still was a nice neighborhood. I just probably wouldn't park in front of that apartment complex that I did. Is that new or is that closing? There's a new bakery that says Fat Cat Bakery. It sounds intriguing. Well, I shouldn't say it's new. I've just never noticed it there before. And I drive up and down here quite frequently. I have to keep my eye on that spot. Uh, look at the mountains there. The fog over the mountains off in the distance, or maybe those are low-lying clouds. Either way, it sure is pretty. I've been debating doing this all morning. Uh, it's late morning now. When I woke up, I thought I was going to run right over to Fog Line and check out what they have for coffee. And then I thought, no, I really need to keep my driving to a minimum. That's what I'm trying to do. And this puts me over my normal five miles per day of driving. So I wasn't quite sure that I should do this, but then thinking about it, I thought, eh, let's just go do this. Uh, I've got another thing I need to take care of today too out in this direction. So it's probably a good day just to go searching for some coffee. And this is coffee weather day too, I think. Fogline coffee can be a little bit difficult to find. Uh, Google Maps sends you on a little bit of a goose chase to get out here. So if you do head out here, just take a look at where it is uh, because I don't think Google has it quite right. Uh, the first time I came out here, I wandered all around and then realized, oh, I just need to go further back in. It's tucked way back in an industrial complex here. And so you'll think you're not going in the right spot. But the guys have uh, their signage put up, so if you look for their signs, you'll see Fogline coffee signs. And it's not too difficult if you're paying attention to the signs instead of paying attention to 
Google, which I think does us wrong here. Actually, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, Google Maps is perfect in every way, and you should always use it and nothing else. And here we are, we've made our way back to the end of this industrial complex. It's so funny, it's, uh, this is what I consider to be a really beautiful day. And yet the weather forecast is still saying 100% chance of rain today. So, somehow I'm, I'm thinking it's not accurate. So the little roastery here might be slightly hard to find, but it's definitely worth checking this out. Uh, if you don't want to make your way back here, uh, Fogline is sold at all of the local stores around. So the local co-op and all the locally owned stores have Fogline stocked readily. Uh, but it's a cool thing to come back here and get to see them working because they actually have their roaster running most of the time when you stop here. The website at the bottom of the bag. So you do mail order too, so if, if you're not in Humboldt, you can get some of that. Yeah, this is premium experience. stuff. All right, that was awesome. And I did what uh, I usually do. I went in just for coffee beans, but then I couldn't help myself and I had them make me up a latte too. And this is fantastic. What an absolutely beautiful day. I am just ecstatic over just the weather today. This is just fantastic. I don't know if you can hear that, but there are a bunch of frogs. There must be a little creek right there. There's a bunch of frogs chirping away. And just as I say that, it starts to sprinkle a little bit, but a little rain is not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna just stand out here and enjoy my latte. This is a treat. I uh, used to go out for lattes a lot and I have not been doing that much lately. So whenever I get one, I really do enjoy it. So I'm gonna stand here for a bit, unless it gets too rainy. It's just a little sprinkle right now. It's nice to be outside. I was thinking I was gonna be in the van all day trying to stay dry. So this is not bad at all. move the phone back inside to keep it dry because I use an old iPhone for my camera and it does have some water resistancy to it but not totally so I try to make sure I don't get it too wet because I don't really trust it uh, especially because it's pretty old I don't know it's five six years old by now I think um, so keep you in there I'm gonna stand out here in the little drizzle uh, I do have my rain jacket handy which I'll put that on, but since I wore it all day yesterday, I'm hoping to not wear it so much today. So a little water is not gonna hurt me much, is it? Um, I did wanna talk a little bit more about this company here, Fogline. Um, I do really think that they are the premier roaster here in the Humboldt area. And if you're interested in them, uh, you can pick them up around uh, Humboldt here. So the co-op here, North Coast Co-op, uh, Wild Berries, uh, Eureka Natural Foods and Murphy's Markets all carry fog line. So if you're in the area, it's quite easy to get the coffee uh, around uh, since these guys are only open during the week and not on the weekends. Uh, I do think that they are at the Arcata Farmer's Market, but I haven't been to the Farmer's Market in Arcata for a little bit. So I'm not sure if they still are or if they do that every week, but I think you can find them at the Arcata Farmer's Market as well. Uh, and if you're not in the area, they do uh, have shipping, so you can uh, go to uh, foglinecoffee.com. I'll try to put a link uh, to them in the video description as well. Um, I don't have any affiliation with the company here. Uh, I just really like what they're doing, uh, so that's why I am recommending them. Normally, I recommend people to search out local coffee to your area. Um, but sometimes there's some coffee that is just so good that I do kind of encourage you just to get some even if you're not in the area. And this is one of the coffees that I would say fits under that category. You know, my other coffees that I like are Olympia Coffee Roasters and Groundwork Coffee. Those are and a, two of the other big roasters that I think are fantastic. Now, they're, they're big roasters, not like Fogline. Fogline is just two guys working out of this little place here that uh, 
I think are just making really good good decisions with uh, what they're doing with coffee. And so that's why I'm recommending them. And with that, I am getting quite wet. Maybe I am going to have to either get in the van or put my rain jacket on. I don't want to do either one of those. <laughs> well, the rain started to pick up a little bit, so I sat back inside to answer the question, why decaf coffee? Why am I buying decaf coffee now? And then, of course, as soon as I did, the rain stopped and it's perfect outside now. Oh, well, I'll just sit here and try to answer this quickly. Although, you know, I don't do quick if you've uh, watched any of my other videos, but we'll, we'll, we'll give you the reason of why I'm buying decaf coffee now. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, the first is quite simply that I've avoided decaf coffee for years and people ask me my opinions about it and I don't have any to give. So I thought it's a good time just to try some decaf, but also I've been having a little issue. Now I should just say first that Caffeine normally doesn't bother me, and that's the reason why I just have not been trying de decaf coffee in the past. Uh, I can drink a cup of coffee and go right to sleep at night and sleep soundly through the night. Uh, I can even drink two or three cups of coffee and sleep soundly through the night. So haven't had a real need to avoid decaf, uh, but probably because I'm getting older, I have been noticing that uh, coffee later in the evening has been giving me a little bit of a heart flutter. And uh, it's kind of a kind of a scary thing. Uh, I do know it's a coffee related thing. So don't don't be worried about my health. It's just it's just a thing I've noticed when I'm drinking a lot of coffee. And this time of year, I do drink a lot of coffee as soon as the weather starts to get a little chillier, especially if it's damp and cool out and rainy out. I want a lot of coffee. And so when I start to drink a lot of coffee, I have been noticing that little issue. Uh, still not bothering my sleep at all. Uh, in fact, I seem to sleep better when I have a cup of coffee right before I go to bed. So I don't want to cut the coffee out. And I'm not a tea drinker. I'm not a hot cocoa drinker. Coffee's my drink of choice. And so I figured all of these reasons are a good reason just to uh, give some decaf a try. With decaf coffee, you really want to get the best of the best coffee because the process of taking the caffeine out does remove some of the flavor of the coffee beans. So if you don't start with ultra premium coffee uh, and you buy decaf, then you wind up with a coffee that basically has no flavor. So that's why I want to come here to Fogline and get ultra premium coffee because I figure that's my best chance of having some coffee that I'll actually like the taste of. Um, there are some reasons to stay away from decaf coffee, health reasons too, uh, depending on the process that is used to remove the caffeine. Some people say it can be harmful. Uh, now these guys use a water process coffee, which seems to be a not so harmful way of removing caffeine. Uh, so that's another reason why I'm buying from Fogline instead of somebody else. Uh, and I should point out that they did tell me that this still does have a little bit of caffeine in it. Uh, so it's decaf, but there is still a little bit of caffeine. You can't remove all of caffeine out of coffee. Uh, so that's another thing to keep in mind. And uh, talking to a local roaster and actually the roasters themselves, because you get all that information that is critical to making the proper decision for uh, what you want to buy and consume, I think. So it's another reason why I think you should search out a local coffee roaster and go to their place and talk to them, because uh, you, you get all that good information that you normally are not going to get if you just go to a grocery store. The frogs are back at it. I hope you can hear them because that is really cool to listen to. Um, so while I'm here in Arcata, uh, I do need to make another stop uh, because I've got a little issue. Um, I've had a little issue with my door here. It makes a strange noise normally, although now it's not really doing it. But normally when I open it, I've been getting a little uh, stutter uh, noise, like it's hanging up on something. 
Uh, it's just doing it a tiny bit. I'm hoping that the little uh, roller assembly there just is dirty and needs to be cleaned. Um, but it might need to be replaced. I do need to get into it, uh, but the only way for me to get into it is to take off some of these uh, star-tipped uh, bolts that they have that hold this whole unit in place. And I don't have any of those. Uh, so I'm going to have to go buy some, and Harbor Freight's probably the best place to get them. There is a Harbor Freight here in Arcata, so since we're here in Arcata, I might as well pop over to Harbor Freight, and it's only like a mile away, so uh, we'll uh, do that while we're here. And then maybe we'll make some decaf later, because I'm really wondering what that decaf tastes like. Am I being silly about the sound of those frogs, or do you like the sound of the frogs too? I, it's just this awesome. That reminds me of a backpacking trip we took uh, years ago when I was a kid. So cool. I don't really want to leave, I just want to sit here and listen to frogs and raindrops. But let's, uh, let's go over and buy some tools. I don't really know this part of town very well. The only reason I come out here is to go to Fog Line or to Tractor Supply, which is here on our right, to get propane occasionally. Turn left onto Valley East Boulevard, then turn right. Or to uh, Harbor Freight. Take the next right, then turn left. It almost looks like it's going to rain out there now, so maybe the weather report was correct. And we are going to see a little bit of rain. Who knows? Okay, so I think I got the right pieces I need. Uh, some star point sockets is what I bought. I think they're right. And then I also bought some uh, silicone lube to lube up the track. I've been using some dry lube and I bought it because it's not supposed to attract dust or dirt, uh, but it doesn't seem to last very long. So I'm going to try the silicone one. Uh, I was looking for another brand than WD-40, but uh, it's the best thing they had in there. And I think it's a little cheaper than my only other option, which would be Ace here in town. Uh, one thing about Humboldt is we don't have a big selection of stores, so there's no Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, I could go to an auto parts store, but this would probably be a few dollars more there. So I bought this here since it's probably the best price. So let's see if these uh, star point bits are what I need. Okay, I just guessed at the size here. Let's see if this is the right one. No, of course not. Next one. That's it. So... A T40 is the size, and I think that's the right bit I need. Uh, the only thing is, I don't want to take this apart today because it's probably going to be a bit involved. And being that it is supposed to rain again, uh, I don't want to get into this and be stuck out in the rain and not be able to close my door if the rain really starts coming down. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use some of this new uh, silicone lubrication and just lube up the track a little bit. Hopefully this will help and maybe it'll knock out some of the dirt that's in there because I'm sure it's dirty too, although I'm fairly certain that the little bearing or bushing needs to be replaced, but I'm hoping this will help at least until the rain stops, we get a clear day and I can take this apart. I don't think this lube is really doing the job. I think I'm gonna have to replace a part in here, but we'll save that for a sunny day. You know, it's strange. I really could have swore I had these star tips someplace, but I 
tore the van apart looking for him the other day, uh, trying to get into this on a sunnier day the other day and couldn't find any. So if I had some, maybe I lost them or maybe they sprouted some legs and walked away. I don't know what I was thinking of, but at least I've got them now. I know that I need these on a few different things around the van, so these will be useful. And they were on sale, which is uh, kind of funny that I needed something that turned out to be on sale. So uh, not, not a terrible thing to have to buy them today, I guess. But since I'm here in Arcata, I'm gonna have to go to my favorite spots because uh, I usually can't just drive by it without stopping, but it is back on the other side of town. So let's go take a little drive to get to my favorite place to hang out here. I'm hoping it won't be too crowded back in here. Sometimes this parking lot that we're heading to gets uh, a little jammed up. So we'll find out shortly. So this is Arcata Community Forest. This is my favorite place to walk around in all of Humboldt. So I just can't drive by it and not stop since we're driving through Arcata to get back to Eureka. Just have to stop for a few minutes. But first, let's make ourselves a cup of coffee because I have that uh, decaf coffee on my mind. Really wondering what it's gonna taste like. Well, it's a bit less busy than I was expecting it to be here, which is good. Found a parking spot. There is another parking spot on the other side of the park, so we could have gone over there too. Let's see here. So this coffee I'm excited about, except also uh, this is not the perfect coffee for me because this is a medium roast coffee and I normally like a light roast coffee. So we'll see how this goes. It's not my first choice of coffee, but of course, when you're shopping for decaf, you have limited options normally, especially because I want to stick to a better quality coffee. Okay, here's the moment of truth here. Am I gonna like this? Am I not? Let's try it. I am trying it straight up first so I get a good idea of what it tastes like. But I usually like a little bit of half and half or heavy cream in my coffee. So I've got half and half at the moment. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in and try it again. So it's good. Uh, it's definitely premium coffee. Uh, Brazilian coffee is not usually my favorite. Um, they've got tasting notes here saying walnut, honey, cocoa, and citrus is what uh, they're saying they pick up when they drink this. Now, I don't, my palate's not refined enough to be able to pick up notes like this, but it does kind of give you a good idea of what the coffee's gonna taste like. And then you can always try to pick a roast in the future that has those same tasting notes. Um, this is good. I was afraid I was gonna hate it, but uh, I don't hate it. I might like it even better as it cools down a little bit, because obviously it's a little bit too hot. Uh, the other th reason I was thinking that I was going to hate it is this is a medium roast coffee, and you can see that there. It's a true medium roast, uh, so I normally like the lighter roast stuff, so I'm glad I don't hate it, uh, being that it's not the roast level that I normally prefer. Um, one of the nice things about small independent coffee places like Fogline is that they roast every batch of coffee to what's best for the coffee bean. So they're going to roast this to a medium level because that's how they found, found that it tastes the best. And that's a big difference between the big roasters, the big nationwide roasters. So usually the big companies will roast their coffee 
to make it taste consistent uh, across the country or across the world where they sell it. Uh, that's a big difference with the little companies like this where they roast the coffee to make it taste the best for each batch of coffee. So while this might be medium roast for this season, maybe next season they might find that it tastes better as a light roast or they might find it tastes better as a darker roast. So that's the big difference with a small company is they do what's best for each batch of coffee and that changes season to season. And that's really why I try to tell people to search out small companies, uh, especially if you can find one in your area, then you can talk to them and get all this information and you end up getting a coffee that is much better quality. Although price level goes up a bit, this bag was $18, so uh, not an inexpensive bag, but hopefully it'll be a good bag for me because uh, that little issue I've been having uh, with with the extra caffeine, hopefully I will be able to uh, still drink my cup of coffee in, in the evening and not have it uh, give me that little flutter because I don't, I don't need that. that uh, that's a little scary from time to time. And I definitely don't want to give up my coffee. So $18 is a small price to pay for me to have my little treat. This is the one thing that I treat myself with. I don't buy candy or bakery goods, hardly any anymore. And so coffee's really my one treat. I want to keep that going. So it's been a few minutes and I'm liking the coffee even more and more as it's cooling down. I'm getting a little more flavor out of it. It's good. Very good. Uh, even though it's not my preferred flavor profile, I'm still liking it. So I think this is uh, a fine choice. So I will uh, be drinking this in the evening time from now on and we'll see if my condition changes a little bit. I hope so but happy to have something to experiment with here. And uh, I'll let you know if I uh, am feeling better or worse or no difference. If I'm not feeling any difference, of course, I'm just going to go back to regular old caffeinated coffee. But we'll give this a go. And we should also get out here and just take a little walk on the trails since we're here, because that's why I came here and it's looking pretty nice out. Of course, nice is a relative term. I'm saying it's nice out because I like this weather when it's a little bit rainy, a little bit foggy, a little bit cool. Not cold, but cool. This is perfect, uh, except I am going to need my rain jacket, I think, this time. So we're not going to go for too long of a walk here because they do lock the entry gate. So we can't stay for long time, but we can make a quick walk out and back. Well, I think that about does it for me. I'm going to head back into Eureka, find a parking spot for the night and probably make some dinner because it's about time for that too. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it.